Welcome to Championship Unboxing, setting off the greatest debates in sneaker history. I'm your host, Valentina. And I'm Fresco, and we have the Nike Air Max versus the Adidas Boost. We've got the air under your feet or a boost in each step. Timeless innovation versus a creative future. Which one wins? This should just be the silver bullet show. There's just so much detailing in this shoe, so many layers. Those were so hard to get, those NMDs. There's gonna be some people in these comments that are slandering us. My initial reaction to the Air Max One, I didn't love it at first, and I didn't realize how much I loved it because I secretly would collect a variety of Air Max Ones. There's just so much detailing in this shoe, so many layers. The Ultra Boost is one of these shoes that hit stadium like a brick, like in the sense of the amount of people that came in wanted to buy this. These though, those were so hard to get, those NMDs. I remember they sold out so quick, I didn't know what the hype was around them. I just knew that they were NMDs and I ha they had to be on my feet. Which one of these Air Maxes or Ultra Boosts had the biggest impact on you when they first came out? Well, that's easy. It's the, uh, it's the 95. It's the first one that I can remember like fully identifying with. I remember going to stores on Flatbush, so many different stores that had Air Max 95s, and that just stood out to me in the neon. I love green, green's my favorite color. So if I had to go impact from my perspective, I'm going 95. So I'm gonna agree with you on that one. Definitely a fan of the scream green color this has going on. I was really young in 1995, so I kind of started seeing the shoe when I was a little bit older, early 2000s. I was like, I definitely have to have one of those in my closet. The design is impeccable. The gradient that you called out is amazing. I'm gonna agree with you. But Valentina is still the same height that she was. <laughs> In Back in 1995, And yes. we're not gonna discuss her height because you know, like she's just vertically challenged. There's no, no issues there. Okay. So round two is style. I'm definitely gonna have to go with my Air Max 97s. Not only is the color classic, gold does it for me, but silver, you know, it's just an ultimate go-to. What did you think? I'm going here with the uh, Air Max One, and not even just the Air Max One, but the Air Max One Safari. So I'm a fan of Japanese culture. Okay. And I'm a huge fan of the Atmos brand. But the Safari Atmos Air Max One, aesthetically with the different animal prints, this just screams like confidence. So when I think of style, I think of confidence, and I'm definitely going with this particular Air Max One in regards to style. We are showing a lot of love to the Nikes in regards to style, they but the, the Ultra Boost style and just the boost in general, it also crossed over on both sides. So there's gonna be some people in these comments that are slandering us. I know. Fresco, for you, which one of these is special to your legacy? Air Max One, easily. Uh, like I said, the amount that can be done with this shoe, also it's the first out of all these six shoes that are laid out on the table. So just the OG and at most, of course, Air Max One for sure. <laughs> I'm still gonna show love to the side that I'm on and I'm gonna stick with my 97s. I think around the time where I could personally buy my own first pair of Air Maxes, it was definitely these. Rock them until I beat the whole sole off. They have a special place in my heart, so I'm gonna go with the 97s. With all the love that we showed to the Nikes, it's really unfair that we've shunned the future, so to speak. So these already have their legacy embedded in, in our minds, so we know all about these, but the legacy on the Boost silhouettes, they're just being created, because they were just introduced to us in 2015. You know, we always have to pick one during the championship unboxing, so, if I have to choose, easily I'm going here because <laughs> I've been going here. Okay. I'm not gonna stop going here. This is Air Max One. 95, it was the first Air Max that kind of stood out in my brain, but what speaks to me the most easily, and I've got like 40 pairs of them, Nike Air Max One. Okay, cool. Mm, this should just be the silver bullet show at this point because I'm gonna go with these. It has, 
just an authentic feel to it. I'm so sorry, Adidas, that I'm not showing y'all love right now. Love the ones, love the 95s, 97s are my ultimate winners. But we're not showing Adidas because Adidas is... Is the future. Adidas it is, the, is future. the future. And it is supremely comfortable. The battle doesn't end here. Take it to the comments and let us know what you think. Is it the history of the Nike Air Max or is it the future of the Adidas Boost? <laughs> history. <laughs> I am Fresco. And I'm Valentina. And this is Championship Unboxing.